Let me thank this fine um, HRA for hosting this, this um, forum tonight. And let me also thank each one of you for coming out this evening to hear us out, raise your questions, uh, make sure that we are on the right track, and if we're not, we might have a little time to go back and get it all together, get on the right track, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm so happy to be here to tell you a little bit about me. I'm a native of South Carolina. Came out of South Carolina after uh, undergrad, then started to go back to grad school. Uh, down Gainesville, Florida. But my purpose here tonight is to tell you why I think I am the best candidate to represent District 26 as your next state senator. I've served in the House for, for 12 years. I served uh, on the County Council for seven and almost a half years. I've got one more year to go, or one half year to go. But I think you need to know a little bit more what makes me tick. One of the programs that I sponsored when I was in uh, the House of Delegates I sense the need to do a study on the incarceration of um, African Americans in this county, in the state. And what I found out that it was so vastly bad that I decided to sponsor legislation, of which I did. Um, to make it short, because uh, I'm three minutes of running pretty fast, yes, I was able to get about $3 million from the uh, government to, to do a program. For, for treatment and training in lieu of incarceration. We spend about thirty-five to $40,000 a year to keep people locked up. We can do better than that. Uh, so of that $3 million, $1.6 million of those dollars came right back here to Prince George's County. We were able to do a program for three years. You probably ask me, why just three? We had a change in the governorship, and when you have those kind of changes, money also changes. But anyway, we, we had a good program for about three years. The other thing I'm interested in, I believe we need to do more about technical uh, positions in our schools. Uh, we got about 25% of our students that do not go on to college. Certainly we want them all to go, but we know that's not a reality. So what I did, I was able to leverage money from MPM to get about $1 million to put into Crossing the High School to help enhance that vocational technical school. And we're not talking about just regular vocational 10 or 15 minutes ago. We're talking about the state of the art type of, of, of vocational schools where you get your certification because that's what you're going to need if you get a, a, a job. The last thing I want to say is that the question has been raised by 210. Um, we get about $15 million off the top of MGA funding. So I put legislation there in the past. What I really want to do, take that $15 million, 